What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and I've got a quick guide for you in Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth on how you can make yourself tons of money. Now I'm going to go over three different tricks in this video, um, all of which combined should give you plenty of money. I've literally 100% almost the entire game and I've got no money issues. So firstly we're going to check out the food bonuses. So you can come here to Cafe Sora Mei Mei, whatever it's called. I like this cafe because when you get the meal bonus here, it gives you boost money earned. And this is the level 2 version. So you can see down there, any of these recipes will do the job. So you've got one recipe there. The other one is this one and this one. And then the last one is the sandwiches. There. Um, you can just buy everything off the menu at once or all of the items needed. And you will get the full boost. So you do that. That will give you a boost for three fights. Now, that's not ideal because, you know, you can end up just running into street thugs. And you gain a bit more money from it, but it's not a ton. You really want to use that in conjunction with boss fights and the item I'm going to show you over here. So the food boost you can stack up to three times and it will go off once per fight. So if you're going into one of the dungeons, for example, and you do the boss fight, that's a really good way of getting tons of money. So you go there, you eat your food up, you come to this place and you grab this item here from Shark 2 Souvenirs. The Sengoku Coffee, this increases your money again from battle. The items do stack, I have tested it a couple times. Um, now the thing with this is so you grab it from there, you grab the food bonus there, and as long as you've done the Hawaiian Horn up to the boss fight, you can just repeat the boss over and over again. Now the Sengoku Coffee is a really useful item to have if you are going through the story. Some of the boss fights give you huge money. If you are in any kind of boss fight where you've got a guy with a big health bar and a name at the top of the screen, if you're in a fight where there's more than one wave of enemies, so you fight a group of enemies and then another wave comes in before the fight's actually over, Always pop the Sengoku coffee. You can see here it costs $30, which is pretty much nothing. It will always make more money than it costs when you use it in the big fight. So always have a stack of five of these with you. Later on, towards the last couple of chapters of the story, the bosses are going to be dropping 100 k for you popping that drink. So there really is no issue with money. The other option is probably the better option earlier on, and that's Dondoko Island. You unlock this at the start of chapter 6. It is quite long, depending on if you're skipping the story or anything like that. It's between 10 and 20 hours. Once you get to the island, as you work through the island and you upgrade it to a one star, two star resort, eventually you get to a five star resort and you get a bonus of like a million. Now, other than the very, very top tier weapons, a million is going to be enough to fully cow your guys the entire game and do most of the side content. So guys, nice and quick, nice and easy. Get what you need and get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like, subscribe, we do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.